answer questions the based on limits itself only this is very very important question to be discussed and the most of the board examinations this question may appear and it will be useful for not only for 10 plus 2 students intermediate students even sometimes for degree students it may be useful for diploma students also the question is compulsory this may appear in board examination that's why it's very very important problem to be learnt and but actually my suggestion is that don't buy the problem better go for the technique and logic behind this problem so that you need to understand and what are the concepts and sequential order of the solving the problem strategies problem solving strategies has to be developed so among us so that we can do any problem so let us solve this problem so generally this problem can be done using cos c minus cos d formula from uh, actually transformation chapter this has to be recalled uh, the while solving this problem so cos for our actually sake let me actually revise this cos c minus cos d formula that is minus 2 sin of uh, c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2 so you may be actually recalling that formula now at this juncture so using that actually simply using sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 this problem can be solved the answer is b square minus a square by 2 it's also one of the shortcut to be applied in competitive entrance examination also whenever the problem is in this form limit extends to 0 the cos of ax minus cos bx by x square is equal to b square minus a square by 2 so now in any competitive entrance examination you need not apply any steps directly you can do it if the problem is in this form this is one of the standard results are to be remembered for competitive entrance examinations like engineering entrance examinations and je mains or even sometimes je advanced or any type of entrance examination whether it may be ssc cgl or even that uh, sometimes any statistical officer examination or pgt examination tgt examination whatever it may be this in limits this model is very very important so could you remember the shortcut once again let me repeat that is b square minus a square by 2 now we need to prove the that one only so let us proceed the steps to get b square minus a square by 2 the limit of the given function value so let us solve it limit x tends to 0 cos ax minus cos bx by x square so this is in the form of cos c minus cos d this we can write 2 sin c plus d by 2 minus 2 sin that is c minus d by 2 okay now this can be written the limit x tends to 0 the numerator can be written in accordance with this formula minus 2 sin of C stands for AX, D stands for BX, C sin of C plus D by 2, sin of AX plus BX by 2, next sin of C minus D by 2, AX minus BX by 2 and divided by X square since minus 2 is constant let us take it common so minus 2 limit x tends to 0 here take x common so that we can write a sign of a plus b by 2 of x sign of this can be written a minus b by 2 of x divided by x square you can check this step also have you checked i hope you might have done so let us proceed for the next step this equals to minus 2 times limit x tends to 0 let us write it as the product of the two functions for our convenience to solve 
problem in easy manner sine of a plus b by 2 of x by x write down this is into sine of a minus b by 2 of x by x write down. Here very interesting as we have a plus b by 2 here also a plus b by 2 should be there. That means multiply both numerator and denominator with a plus b by 2. So as to write the limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta. You will have the doubt also why should we write like that. So in order to put them into the standard form always you have to think for the standard forms itself only. You have to look at the standard forms. So now the minus 2 limit x tends to 0. So the sin of a plus b by 2 of x this is a plus b by 2 of x the multiplied with a plus b by 2. So it does not make any difference. In the similar pattern there also you apply the limit extends to 0 this we can write uh, the sin of a minus b by 2 of x by a minus b by 2 of x into a minus b by 2 ok. Right. So now as x approaches to 0 a plus b by 2 of x also approaches to 0 because x is 0 0 multiplied by something what do you get it 0 yes. So minus 2 this we can change a plus b by 2 of x tends to 0 the sin of a plus b by 2 of x by a plus b by 2 of x. So in the similar manner can you change this one? Yes, why not you can change. So that is multiplied by a plus b by 2 and we can change limit a minus b by 2 of x tends to 0 the sin of a minus b by 2 of x by a minus b by 2 of x multiplied by a minus b by 2. Just assume in our mind the a plus b by 2 x is theta if you say the limit theta approaches to 0 sin theta by theta absolutely that is 1 this we can write 1 this also we can replace 1 you get because the limit theta approaches to 0 sin theta by theta becomes 1. So using this important formula the we can rewrite it as like this the minus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by a plus b by 2 and multiplied by 1 multiplied by a minus b by 2. Here very interesting minus 2 into 1 minus 2 minus 2 into 1 minus 2 times we have a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square by 2 this 2 sorry 2 into 2 4 2 1 ja 2 2 ja. So if you multiply minus with a square minus b square you can expect your answers directly what we have the before starting only we have we know the answer of this one b square minus a square by 2 see that is we are going to get it same thing minus a square plus b square so b square minus a square by 2 am I right better for competitive interest examination you remember this one this is one of the standard results has to be remembered so the please watch this video and like and share and comment in it thank you for watching